repairs and strengthens enamel. Why not be truly radiant? Switch to Arm & Hammer. If it sizzles and crackles and comes from a kitchen, it's breakfast. Have breakfast for breakfast. The fresh made from our kitchen, the Egg McMuffin, only from McDonald's. on Pathfinder with intuitive four-wheel drive. An adventure worth sharing. Nissan. Innovation that excites. Dave's all new with Emma Stone, Nathan Fielder, and American authors tonight. In a city of a million crimes. How long Watson? Dead body awaits. Sherlock Holmes. What's he doing? Is one of a kind. He, uh, has a process. Sherlock Holmes is pretty hard to forget. I've thrived here, not because of who I am, but because of who I've come to know. The hit drama, Elementary, CBS Thursday. The Millers is very loud funny. Ta-da! You know you can take your own turn, right? <laughs> the Millers, Thursday, only CBS. Just ahead on 6 News at 11, inmates and workers found in a racy prison encounter in Ionia, and it's all on video. That story coming up. And a woman who pleaded guilty to her involvement in an accident now says a General Motors ignition switch was to blame. Plus two scams targeting Lansing utility customers, and it doesn't matter what company you have. You are watching 6 News. Now, from your local news leader, this is 6 News. Yes, I can confirm that. Unfortunately, that is true. Mid-Michigan prison workers and inmates caught on camera having sexual contact in a dry cooler. It's our top story this evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Evan Pinsonald in for Greg Adeline. And I'm Sherry Jones. A sexual scandal in an Ionia prison puts four women out of a job after cameras catch the workers in the act with inmates. And the women were food service employees of Aramark, the same company under fire in our state after maggots were found in prisoners' foods. Emerald Morrow is with us in the studio. And Emerald, who uncovered this? Well, Sherry and Evan, a prison spokesman tells me a warden made the discovery this morning while reviewing surveillance video from the previous day. And not long afterward, those women caught on tape were let go and could soon face criminal charges. Just beyond this barbed wire, officials at the Bellamy Creek Correctional Facility in Ionia are battling quite the scandal. They were engaged in inappropriate activities that included um, some sexual issues, uh, kissing, touching, inappropriate touching. Officials say cameras caught four female food service workers at different times in the act with several prisoners. This was in the food service area back in a dry cooler storage uh, part of the kitchen. No intercourse or oral sex acts were seen on the video, but officials say what did happen still crossed the line, and it's possible those involved are repeat offenders. There were a number of prisoners that were seen on the videotape engaging in these inappropriate activities, and it appears that, you know, it was this is not the first time this happened. The women worked for Aramark, the same company catching flack after maggots were found in prisoners' food. Governor Snyder recently privatized prison food services, eliminating 370 union jobs in favor of the multi-million dollar contract with Aramark. Officials say they're keeping a close eye on all the problems and could soon take action. Certain actions are afforded us under the contract, and so we'll make a decision at at the end of the month, uh, you know, what our, what our action will be. We reached out to Aramark for comment and they released a statement that says we share MDOC's zero tolerance for improper conduct and thank the department for working with us to promptly handle the situation. Thank you, Emerald. Consumers Energy wants to remind customers that its workers will never ask to see your bill during a visit or show up unannounced. Neighbors in a Lansing neighborhood say two men have been going door to door asking to see their gas bills. They say the pair asked to compare prices to ones they have on record, but Consumers Energy says the men are not employees of the utility. The pair then later told the neighbors they were with a natural gas company in Texas. 
Well, here at 6 News, we called ExxonMobil and Centerpoint Energy in Texas. Centerpoint told us that much like consumers, their employees will have a marked car and proper identification. So there are occasions where, where folks from Consumers Energy will come to your house, but um, oftentimes uh, you'll know that in advance or you shouldn't be surprised by the visit. If a person is, is out there to catch you off guard or to pressure you to give you money, then that should, that should arouse some suspicion. If you have any questions regarding employees or concerns that you're encouraged to call Consumers Energy at 1-800-477-5050. And another scam is targeting some Lansing utility customers, but this one aimed at the Board of Water and Light. The company says it's received several reports of a phone scam, where customers are threatened with a loss of service if they don't make a payment over the phone. The scam starts with a call from this phone number you see on your screen, 616-439-4454, and then the scammer directs customers to call an 800 number in order to make a phone payment. BWL is reminding customers the company never asks for credit card payments over the phone and that you should not give money or any personal information to anyone you don't know. With your help, we solve crimes. This is 6 News Crime Stoppers. Well, Crime Stoppers works because of your tips. And in tonight's report, we have three people wanted for felony warrants in Lansing. See if you have the tip that leads law enforcement to them. Brett Allen Harold is wanted on a felony warrant for forgery out of Lansing. Harold is 49 years old, 6 foot 1, and weighs 250 pounds with brown hair and hazel eyes. 26 year old Sarah K. Pearson is also wanted in Lansing on a felony fraud warrant. Pearson is 5 foot 9, 145 pounds with brown hair and blue eyes. And finally, Joshua Delmont Richardson is wanted on a felony warrant for burglary in Lansing. Richardson is 17 years old, 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighs 146 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. Again, these wanted fugitives are Brett Allen, Sarah Pearson, and Joshua Richardson. If you have any information about these wanted fugitives, call Crime Stoppers 517-483-STOP or 1-855-840-7867. That's toll free. There's up to a $1,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. And remember, Crime Stoppers is always 24-7 on our website. Just find it, click on a, the logo on our homepage. You can always head to WLNS.com slash Crime Stoppers. Meantime, a 21-year-old man will spend at least the next four years and nine months in prison after a 13-year-old girl was hit by a bullet he fired after a fireworks show at Cascade Falls Park last year. D'Angelo King was sentenced in Jackson today. According to our media partners, the Jackson Citizen Patriot, King took a plea deal for charges of assault with intent to do great bodily harm, so prosecutors, as a result, dropped charges that included assault with intent to murder. King was sentenced today to between four years and nine months and ten years in prison. The 13-year-old girl who was hit by that stray shot did recover, but doctors had to leave the bullet inside her body. New tonight on 6 News at 11, a former prosecutor is asking justice officials in Texas to pardon a woman who pleaded guilty in a fatal crash in 2004. Her fiancé died in that crash, and the woman was sentenced to five years probation. The prosecutor now says that crash was caused by a faulty General Motors ignition switch. In a letter to Texas justice officials, he said that she would have dismissed the case had she known the ignition issue caused the crash. Well, those switches are part of a massive recall announced earlier this year by General Motors. And when it comes to recalls, General Motors says it's supporting a proposed law that would keep rental car companies from renting recalled cars. The bill requires any car under recall to be fixed before it can be rented. GM got behind the bill after language was added to the legislation that says automakers would not be liable when they repair rental cars. Today's announcement comes one day before GM CEO Mary Vera is heading to Capitol Hill for a third time to answer questions on the ignition switch recalls. And even as General Motors recall issues continue, it still finished the first half of the year in third place for global sales numbers. General Motors was second in sales last year, but Volkswagen jumped ahead since January, edging out GM by about 50,000 cars. Overall, General Motors sold 4.92 million cars this year. Volkswagen sped up on GM sales with almost a 5% increase this year alone. And auto sales aren't the only numbers on the rise. The Dow Jones jumped to another historic high today. After breaking the 17,000 mark earlier this month, Dow made another big jump, finishing up 77, 000, 77 points, I should say, at 17,138. Strong earnings statements and some merger news helped fuel today's high. 
Numbers from another economic indicator are in tonight, showing Michigan's unemployment numbers held steady in June. The state's seasonally adjusted unemployment rate stayed at 7.5% in June, which matches the same numbers from May. Even though unemployment isn't going down, it's far less than it was a year ago in June when the jobless rate was 8.9%. Flags flying at state buildings across Michigan will be lowered this weekend. Governor Rick Snyder announced today that starting on Friday, flags like the one at the state capitol will be moved to half staff in remembrance of former State Lieutenant Governor Connie Binsfield, who passed away earlier this year. Binsfield served as Lieutenant Governor under Governor John Engler from 1991 to 1998. She also served in the State House and Senate. Now, from Storm Tracker 6, weather first. Made possible by your independent auto owners insurance agents, the no problem people. And skies are still mostly cloudy across mid Michigan, although drier air working its way on in will help to break up the clouds. We really have a chilly night ahead. Taking another look from our uh, Capitol camp right now, hardly a breeze at this time. The flag barely moving, but uh, as we go through the night, the skies clear and with light or no breeze. Overnight, those temperatures will drop. Uh, already it's chilly out there. It's 58 degrees in Lansing. A west breeze at just five miles per hour. Parts of mid Michigan reporting calm conditions right now, like Jackson, where skies are still mostly cloudy. 57 degrees. Humidity is up there at 93 percent. If we clear quickly, we could have some patches of ground fog forming through the early morning hours. The storm system that was uh, plaguing us over the past few days with not only wet weather, but the chilly weather too, that's way on off to the northeast now. We're just waiting for an area of high pressure, which is over Iowa, to make its way into the Great Lakes region. A slow moving one, it will gradually move down toward Indiana and Ohio over the next 24 to 48 hours and we're still feeling the effects of the cool air around the high and also being tugged down by the area of low pressure. Uh, the rain showers that developed across mid Michigan during the day today pretty much on schedule also fading away pretty much on schedule right now. You still have some clouds, but the dry air coming in from the northwest will work on those clouds to break them up and will go mostly clear. And again, with the light winds, it's going to get pretty chilly tomorrow morning. Good news is we should have a fair amount of sun through the first part of the day. Then we go partly cloudy. Precision cast tries to squeeze out a few rain showers from the clouds. I don't think that will happen for tomorrow. It's just some scattered clouds in the afternoon not expecting the rain showers. And then as we head through your Thursday night into Friday morning, we go clear once again. It'll be a chilly night, not as cold as tonight. And then as we head into the weekend, a nice slow moderation on the temperatures as we'll see a fair amount of sunshine. Friday looks good. Saturday, there's going to be a storm system that's moving through the Ohio Valley. We'll be on the northern edge of any clouds. The rain shower activity should stay away from the mid Michigan area It'd be close meteorologically close, but really it looks like dry weather will be holding now for several days. Temperature wise again 58 in Lansing, same thing in Mason and Charlotte 57 northward up towards St. John's, although it's really cold further to the north. The Sioux at 50. I just checked at Newberry just west of there. It's 49 Cadillac right now already 49 degrees as we go through the nighttime hours. Look for clearing skies and we'll drop to around 49 degrees. That's chilly. Now the record low for Lansing is 41 tomorrow morning. No worry about that. But Jackson 48 is the record low tomorrow morning. Got a shot at that. Not that you want uh, sunshine tomorrow morning and then partly cloudy. A high of 76 degrees and here comes the slow warming through the rest of the week and into the weekend. Right now it's timing out for a pretty nice weekend. Sure Fair amount of sunshine. I'll put in that very, very slight chance of a shower popping up late on Sunday. But I think most areas not seeing that low 80s. I think the humidity also still stays fairly low nice. for the rest of the week and into the weekend. Very good. We'll take it. All right. Low 80s and then Sherry, when we go out and play, we'll shoot in the low 80s. Oh, let's hope. There we go. <laughs> Golfing in good weather. That's how that's we do true. it. Coming up next on 6 News at 11, President Obama calls for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas, but neither side is budging. Plus, lawmakers grill the CDC after finding out it was storing one of the deadliest diseases in the world inside something you probably have in your kitchen. Find out what it is when 6 News at 11 continues. 
Today's Storm Tracker 6 forecast is brought to you by Lyman and Sheets Insurance Agency in Lansing, your local independent auto owners insurance agent, the no problem people. Boy, I wish my parents would get a new dock. This one gives me splinters. <laughs> Must be the dock. Call 1 800 Boatlift or go on to 1 800 Boatlift.com. The Serta truck is pulling into Vermeulen's, and that means huge savings for you. Queen set starting at just $2.99. Super Pillow Top Queen set starting at just $4.99. Don't miss the Serta truckload sale this weekend only and only at Vermeulen Furniture across from the Westwood Mall. There was a time when Michigan was first in industry, in innovation, in creating the things and the ideas that drove America forward. In our hands. Our hands. In our hands. We hold the power to build, to fight, to reach out, coming together with friends and neighbors. There was a time, and there can be a time again. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. To put Michigan first. Terry Lynn Land for Senate. I am Terry Lynn Land, and I approve this message. Hi, Tony Young here from Young Chevrolet Cadillac in Owasso. It's time for our $2,000 minimum trade, which means you can drive a brand new Cadillac as low as $259 a month. Think about this. Are you really getting it? If you're paying more than $259 a month for whatever you're driving, you're paying too much. We can save you money. We, our theory here is drive more, pay less. Drive a brand new Cadillac, Lansing Build ATS, starting at $259 a month. It only happens in Owasso at Young. President Obama announces new sanctions against Russia tonight for its support of rebels working to take over Ukraine. Sanctions are already in place against members of Russian President Vladimir Putin's inner circle, but now President Obama is putting the squeeze on Russian businesses. The sanctions make it harder for some Russian energy companies, big banks, and weapons companies to get into U.S. markets. The White House says it wants to send a message to Russia that its actions have consequences and promised even tougher sanctions if the situation in Ukraine continues. President Obama also weighed in on the fighting between Israel and Hamas, saying he supports a ceasefire deal proposed by Egypt. But so far, both sides of this deadly conflict have only agreed to hold their fire for five hours on Thursday to allow Palestine to get new shipments of food and water. In the meantime, four Palestinian boys from the same family were killed today when Israeli artillery shell exploded on a beach in Gaza. President Obama said today that Israel does have the right to defend itself against rocket attacks from Gaza. There's no country on earth that can be expected to live under a daily barrage of rockets. But over the past two weeks, uh, we've all been heartbroken by the violence, especially the death and injury of so many in innocent civilians in Gaza. Men, women, uh, and children who are caught in the crossfire. Only one Israeli has died in the recent violence, but more than 200 Palestinians have been killed in the past nine days. President Obama also touched on what the White House is calling surprisingly favorable talks over Iran's nuclear program. Secretary of State John Kerry traveled to Austria on Tuesday, where he discussed rolling back some aspects of Iran's nuclear program. He says progress is being made and that both sides are negotiating in good faith. Still to come on 6 News at 11, they handle diseases that could kill countless numbers of people. But now the CDC is handling a congressional hearing on its security lapses. We'll take you inside that hearing when 6 News at 11 continues. Join the lug nuts on Salute to Service Night as military eat free this Friday. All veterans and active service men and women will receive a free meal. Plus, stick around for laugh cue fireworks after the game. Bertram Hills Center for Health and Rehabilitation, located on the Bertram Hills campus in East Lansing. Getting you back where you belong. They were very good to me there, and they did a great job with what I was supposed to do. Everyone was kind and considerate and worked me very hard. It paid off and I'm doing great. I can't say enough about their therapy department. That's why I chose Bertram. Bertram Hill Center for Health and Rehabilitation, getting you back where you belong. Well, if you're bound to your pickup truck, boy, you get a brand new one. Sundance Chevrolet is a place to go. $259 down, $259 a month, tax and plates included, including maintenance, and we'll take anything in on trade. And Sundance Riding Stables, camp for the kids. 
them. You're just not going to believe how nice that is over there. Here's a brand new Impala, 263 down, 263 a month. And here's a brand new Chevrolet for $12,900. Nobody does it like Sundance. We do it every day. Sundance sells for less. See, it's the Sundance. Barack Obama and the career politicians have created bigger government. While their plans rely on more spending and dependency, Paul Mitchell has created a better economy by creating opportunity. Leading a workforce training company, Mitchell helped unemployed and displaced workers develop skills they need to find jobs and support their families. Mitchell knows hardworking people drive the economy, not the government. Conservative Paul Mitchell for Congress. I'm Paul Mitchell, and I approve this message. These are my Michigan Lottery daily game numbers. These are my numbers. They are lucky. Lucky. They're lucky. They are precious. They are secret. They are passed down like grandma's meatloaf recipe. I can play them daily or nightly. And when they hit, eh, it will make my day. Today could be. Could be. Could be. My lucky daily. Now play the daily four and match your straight bet in reverse and win $1,000. Anthrax is a disease with the potential to kill thousands of people. Its spores spread through the air. It can blister your skin and burn your lungs. So why was a disease like this being transferred in Ziploc bags and stored in unlocked refrigerators at what was supposed to be one of the most secure labs in the world? That's right. And as Craig Boswell shows us tonight, it's a question lawmakers want answers to. Lawmakers pressed the head of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention about several recent safety lapses, including the mishandling of anthrax, exposing dozens of workers to the deadly virus. These practices put the health of the American public at risk. It is sloppy and it is unexcusable. Following the June incident, a USDA investigation turned up other safety concerns, including anthrax stored in unlocked refrigerators in an unrestricted hallway, missing anthrax containers that had to be tracked down by USDA inspectors, and dangerous materials transferred in Ziploc bags. What in heaven's name would go through the minds of some scientists thinking a Ziploc bag is enough to protect someone from anthrax? It was handled by the staff in those lower uh, containment laboratories as if it were not infectious. This is like saying, I didn't know the gun was loaded. The CDC director told lawmakers he recognized, in hindsight, the pattern of lapses, and the agency is taking steps to improve safety. We have concrete actions underway to change processes that allowed these incidents to happen, reduce the likelihood of an occurrence in the future, and apply the lessons broadly. But some lawmakers question whether the CDC can change the way it operates. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Some lawmakers expressed concern there's not a single standard for labs to follow when handling dangerous pathogens. And they say there needs to be a governmental entity in charge of oversight for the work. Well, Fred's here with sports. He's talking hoop camp, which we all love, but, and I guess I should say, the what departure. What season is this? This is basketball season. No, no it baseball isn't. Baseball season. Baseball season. <laughs> And soccer season, right? That's right. right. Lansing United. And board. golf season. But it, yeah, it is. But only for guys that like you, all free golf. We got to pay. <laughs> but a reliable uh, right hand man for MSU baseball coach Jake Boss is taking a new job. We'll hear his emotional departure from Michigan State. That's coming up next in sports. Stay with us. Fly southwest from Flint to over 55 cities, including non-stops to Baltimore, Washington, Las Vegas, Tampa Bay, and Orlando. Seasonally to Fort Myers. Legendary low fares are online at southwest.com. Soy a Chevrolet superstore. You get more, more, more. Cars to choose from and no GM discount required for a 2014 Silverado, only $287 per month. If you're thinking Chevrolet, you need to be thinking Sawyer Chevrolet superstore. All right, with all the pre-made and pre-packaged breakfast sandwiches out there, I always thought delicious hearty breakfasts were for weekends only. And then I went to Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop. Let me tell you, these guys take breakfast seriously, and they make it just the way I want it. Like their new maple biscuit breakfast sandwich with a freshly baked maple biscuit, tasty sausage patty, fluffy egg omelet, and melted cheese. It's got all the makings of a delicious weekend breakfast ready any day of the week. Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop. Great tasting breakfast, amazing coffee. Serving breakfast until 5 p.m. American Metal Roofs is proud to announce two free upgrades valued at $5,000 for the month of July. 
Order this month and you'll upgrade free from standing seam to designer Oxford or rustic shingles. And receive a free upgrade from steel to top of the line non-rusting aluminum. That's more than $5,000 in free upgrades. Don't wait. Call 844 Metal Roofs for an appointment. See pictures and learn more at AmericanMetalRoofs.com. Angie Post. Ugh, this stupid AC in this stupid car. It only works on high. Hey, tight Angie, because the Honda Summer Clearance event is here. This Honda CRV has awesome standard features like a rear view camera and Bluetooth. Want to borrow my brush? Keep it. Hurry in to get a great deal on a Honda. Name most trusted brand by KBB.com. The Honda Summer Clearance event is on now at your Honda dealer. Terry Lynn Land would give her billionaire backers tax breaks. Here you have another career politician doing that whole one hand wash the other thing. I need somebody to represent my family, my middle class family. I can't understand why she would want to go back and charge women more for health insurance. I've been proud to be a teacher for 25 years and seeing all these cuts that we've had, it's just been terrible. Why Terry Lynn Land doesn't understand that, I don't know. Senate Majority PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Discount required on a 2014 Malibu for only $197 per month, only at Sawyer Chevrolet Superstore. If you're thinking Chevrolet, you need to be thinking Sawyer Chevrolet Superstore. This is Six Sports. After nine days away from Cooley Law School Stadium, the Lansing Lugnuts were back home tonight facing one of the hottest teams in the Midwest League, the Kane County Cougars. It's Wednesday and that's Humphrey night. We gotta have a little Humphrey the Camel. Shane Dawson was terrific in the start for the Luggies. The Southball with six innings, his longest stint of the year in the strikeout there. But hey, don't step on that white line. That, that'll cause bad luck. Let's take time out for a little selfie. Well, you wonder how it turned out. Back to the game, Lugs up three zip. Dowell Lugo hits a shot. The left appears to go off the top of the fence. But hey, guys, that hit the metal bar outside. That's a home run. Yes, sir. Two run dinger for Lugo. It's third of the year, five zip. Sixth inning, Lugnuts put it away. Nice hit run, single to right by David Harris. That scores Justin Atkinson. Another run scored an error to make it 7 0. Derek Loveless later hits a shot to center off the wall, scores another run. Lugnuts can return home and they win it 8 4. They're now 13 12 in the second half. It may be mid July, but for local hoop fans, it's still the middle of basketball season, right, Sherry? Lots of hoop camps all over our area, including one this week in East Lansing at the Michigan Athletic Club. And this morning, MSU hoop star Denzel Valentine spoke to kids at his dad's camp at the MAC. Carlton Valentine, the former Sexton coach, teaches basketball there full time. His son was happy to sign autographs. Denzel happy to have his old Sexton pal Bryn Forbes in the MSU fold. Forbes transferred to MSU recently, so the Sexton MSU connection continues. What a program to be a part of and, and have everybody come back to. And, you know, uh, we, we've been like family ever since we were little, so. Uh, you know, it's really exciting. Uh, one of my friends, uh, they, they coach this college basketball, said, uh, uh, they call it Sexton U. They said with, with Drew over there, Denzel, and now with, uh, with Brent Forbes coming, uh, Sexton U. So, <laughs> and we got Doug Herner over there, too. Yeah, Doug right. Herner used to be the coach at Sexton uh, uh, way before, before I was there. So, yeah, it's a many, many Sexton U. Meanwhile, the Charles Tucker basketball camp continues this week at Lansing Eastern, 29th year of this prestigious camp, and that has had so many kids go on to successful careers. Tucker remembers young Irvin Johnson at his camp when he was 12, and Dr. Tucker's message goes far beyond basketball. Really talk about life skill along with basketball, mm -hmm. and that's always important. Life skill is, is what really gets you through life when basketball and everything else fail. Mm -hmm. And I think just to learn how to get along with people and to set some goals and value and know that you can do other things other than act crazy or play ball, you know, you, you can kind of have a balanced life. Did you think this camp when you started it would be around here in 2014? I'm like Judd Heathcote, I didn't even thought I'd be around. <laughs> All right, the Lansing United played to a 2-2 tie tonight with San Marino exhibition tune-up for the playoffs this weekend. Dream season for our local soccer entry. The United not only captured the Great Lakes West title, but will host the Midwest Regional Playoffs with a semifinal game Saturday night. Big week, and they're ready to make some noise. It's going to be a great feel for the guys, but at the end of the day, it's, it's business as usual. We'll show up and we'll train, we'll prepare, 
and we'll take take care of guys who are injured and try and rejuvenate them so they're healthy for the weekend. It's an exciting time, definitely, but we have to continue to do the little things right so we can have some success in the playoffs. You know, some teams will get to the playoffs and think, ah, oh, we've arrived. You know, we want to get there and say, hey, let's make some noise, you know, put ourselves really on the map of the MPSL. All right, baseball. MSU coach Jake Boss is losing his pitching coach, Mark Vanamede, who has been named the new head coach at Eastern Michigan. Vanamede's last official duty on staff today was at the baseball camp, and he was heading over to Jenison to clean out his office. Vanamede was Boss's staff at EMU before Jake took the job at MSU and brought Mark with him to be his pitching coach. He leaves MSU with great memories and many emotions. Mark, what kind of memories and emotions do you leave behind here? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, that's a tough one to answer. Um, I mean, one of the first things I think about is when we won in 11, winning the Big Ten with Coach and, um, and Graham and, and Senior. You know, that was really special. In 2012, when we got the bid, you know, to go to the regional. And um, really, uh, even aside from baseball, is the relationship with the players. And, you know, um, I mean, me and Jake are really close, so yeah. it'll be tough. Tough to leave this town. That's why Sherry has never left. Right, Sherry? That's sports. It's all about Team yes, Team MSU and Team TV6, right? There you go. Two great teams. That's right. You We're don't want to be leave. a part of both. Oh. Better oh, believe yeah. it. <laughs> Fred's leaving. Oh, no. Jim's up next. Final check in your sixth day. WLNS 6 Sports is brought to you by Beck's Trailer Superstore and Service Center. The trailer you want for the price you want to pay. Now open, the ultimate movie experience is now at Regal Cinemas at Lansing Mall. With crystal clear images, immersive 3D, and powerful surround sound. RPX, the Regal Premium Experience is guaranteed to be the best, or your next movie is free. Enjoy the Regal treatment with free small popcorn and drink, now through July 31st. Lansing Mall Stadium 12 and RPX, located off West Saginaw Highway. If you've got a big lawn, you need a big time mower. You need an X Mark. With an X Mark, you'll get a better cut faster and a mower that may be the last one you'll ever need to buy. So if you want your lawn to look like a pro maintained it, use what the pros use X Mark. Purchase two to one over the next best selling brand by landscape professionals. 0% retail financing going on now at DG Equipment, Mason, Williamston, Howell, Corona, and Highland. This is the machine Morgan Curry bought in 1966 to expand his small business. He paid tax on it, but unlike other states, he also pays personal property tax on it every year since. 48 years. Now his grandson who runs the business is still paying tax on it every year. That's crazy. Prop 1 will end that unfair double tax on personal property and help small businesses grow. Yes to Prop 1. Looks like the Garcia's got a new car. What'd they get? I don't know. Sure, <laughs> that look like the Buick. Here, here, here. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Take a fresh look at Buick. It just might surprise oh, you. That's not a Buick. That's what I told him. Wow. This is nice. Oh my. Hey. Now current GM employees with the GM lease can lease this 2014 Enclave for $2.99 per month. Visit Glen Buki, Crippen, Jim Winter, and Team One. Have you heard the news? Kroger has lowered prices on thousands of items throughout the store. So you'll find new lower prices on the things you and your family love. And with fuel points, you'll get lower prices at the pump too. Stop in and see how much you'll save with new lower prices and more. Every day at Kroger. Perfect for grilling, USDA Choice Top Sirloin Steak is $4.99 a pound. And Northwest Red Bean Cherries are $1.88 a pound. Great food, low prices at Kroger. It's going to be chilly tonight. It yeah. is. It's starting to get there already. Mm. We're heading into the upper 40s tomorrow morning. Probably not a record in the Lansing area. 41's record low, but Jackson, close. 76 tomorrow, partly cloudy. 80 on Friday, low 80s for the weekend, mid 80s Monday and Tuesday. So onward and upward from here. There we That's go. Right. You have to yeah. remind yourself what month it is, you know? Yeah, quite a setback. Tomorrow. July, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've always got so. it, always free at WLNS.com. Country's best-selling Bradley Award-winning act, Alabama, Sunday, August 3rd at 8 p.m.